What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success. And in this video right now, what I want to talk to you about is where to get inspiration from for your clothing brand. If you're building a website and you're thinking about the structure of your website, what to include on your website, if you're building products for your clothing brand and you're thinking about the design, I wanna to talk to you about where to look for inspiration and how to look to other brands in a way where you're not stealing their brand, but you're looking for inspiration, you're looking for ideas to spark your own creativity and absolutely destroy it with your own brand. This channel here is sponsored by my buds over at Brand Crowd, and if you need designs made for your brand, then I seriously recommend you check them out. They have a vast library of already professionally designed logos that are fully customizable. So you can add your own fonts, your own layout to them, and all that's free to try. Then if you decide that you like the logo, then you can decide to purchase it, remove it from the marketplace so that it's yours. And if you're interested, follow the link in the description because it'll give you a huge discount. All right, straight up. One thing that I think clothing brand owners should be doing a lot more of is looking to other clothing brands for inspiration in areas where they're not comfortable with their own clothing brand and where they feel like they need improvement. And I'm not at all saying that you should be looking to other brands to steal their ideas or to steal any of their designs or anything like that. That's not at all what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that if you don't have any background in web design and you're starting from scratch designing your website, Definitely look to other clothing brands to see how to structure a website, what to include in a website, because otherwise you're just gonna be starting from scratch and you're not gonna be able to do it well, okay? So, and there's honestly nothing wrong with that at all, right? I'm not telling you to steal their spark, steal their creativity. What I'm telling you is to look to other brands, look to other websites, just to gain an understanding of the fundamentals of what should be included on a website and what should be included in a clothing brand so that you can put that in place for your own clothing brand. And that's one of the best ways to learn. I follow a ton of other clothing brands just to sort of get an idea of what they're doing. And maybe I can pick up on something that they're, that they're doing that is a fundamental that I've just completely left out of my own clothing brand because of my own ignorance and because of my own lack of understanding, right? Here I am running Apparel Success. That doesn't mean that I don't have any flaws and that I shouldn't be looking to other brands to see what I can do better and gain some sort of inspiration. When it comes to your own creativity and your own brand, once you have the fundamentals down, once you know that your website's structured in a way where the customer experience is a good one, then you can start to innovate on top of those fundamentals and you can start to come up with your own ways to be creative on your website and your own ways to do things. The creativity is something that we all want to express right from the beginning and it's one of these kinds of things where it's almost uncontained when you first start out because it's kind of just like, I have all these ideas and this is how I picture the website and all this stuff. But there are definitely rules that you need to follow like having a shop page on your website that the user actually enjoys going through, right? Like if you just have this amazing idea for a website that you think is amazing, but everybody's kind of like, I don't know where this is and I don't know where to find the checkout button and they're kind of lost, then that creativity doesn't really mean anything and it's actually hurting your brand. Creating a successful clothing brand is really half an art form, but it's half a science. And if you fail to encompass both of those together, then you're gonna get basically a painting that nobody wants to look at. That's why, you know, when it comes to painting, there's, you know, the art side of it, which is basically your own expression, your own creativity, but there's also classes on painting. And if you don't understand the fundamentals of painting and how to create depth in the image and all of those really technical things, then you're basically going to be left with a painting that really nobody wants to buy, nobody wants to look at. And it's really the same thing when it comes to running a clothing brand. It's the same thing in poetry, right? There's that side of poetry where it's like your free expression, but at the same time, there's those underlying rules that you need to understand in order to create poetry that really lands and that really hits. And it almost amplifies the creativity that you have when you have those fundamentals down. It's really the same thing with running a clothing brand. And I think that if you're starting from scratch, one of the best ways to learn is obviously through watching a YouTube channel like this, but there aren't a ton of resources out there when it comes to running a successful clothing brand and building a successful clothing brand in terms of how to build you know, your website for your clothing brand from scratch. And honestly, the best way to learn, the best way that I learned was to just look at other brands that you like. Because obviously if you're looking at just other clothing brands and if I'm telling you the clothing brands to look at, that's based on what I like and my own real subjective taste. And if you're looking for 
creating your own clothing brand, you wanna be looking to brands that you like, brands that you want to be inspired by. This is one of those topics that I honestly like to ignore myself because I am totally a creative mind and I'm the type that never did good in science, right? I never did good in math and I like to be that creative sort of explosion when it comes to thinking and what I'm doing and how I'm acting even. And you really need to be able to, as a clothing brand owner, recognize the importance and the reality of the situation and recognize that, you know, it really is important to have certain things in place and to be following a certain structure at the beginning so that you make sure that you're not leaving anything out that's really important and you're not sort of off in la la land doing whatever it is that you think is good and that you think people like when you haven't really gotten the basics down yet. So let's get a little bit deeper on this and talk about the types of things that you can look to other brands for, for inspiration. Number one, you can look at their website, right? You can look to see which types of pages are included on their website, how it's all structured together, what's in their footer on their website. Um, you can also look to their clothing brand for design inspiration, right? If you don't know how to structure a logo for your clothing brand, then you can definitely look to other brands to see how their logo is structured and what types of things are they including in their logo? How busy is their logo? How simple is their main logo? All of those types of things you just kind of want to be aware of. And I'm not at all talking about stealing it. Once again, I want to mention that. Not at all, right? Completely just gaining an understanding for why it's working. That's all that I'm talking about. And at the same time, another thing that you can look for to clothing brands for inspiration for is their ads, right? Look at the types of ads that they're putting out, especially brands that you like and brands that have converted you into being customers of them, right? Why did it work for you? What did you like inside of their ad? I have a whole bunch of ads that I've screenshotted inside my phone just because I'm like, okay, this ad's sick. I really like it and it really worked for me. Maybe I can look back on this when I'm thinking about designing an ad for my own clothing brand and I'm completely lost and I don't even know where to start, right? I can look at that ad and be like, okay, I like this about that and I'll change up this and I really like where the text is here. Maybe I'll add my own font here and maybe I'll play around with putting this on the left side and just, you really sort of, add your own little flavor to it. Another thing that you can look for is what is actually written inside of the ads, the copy inside of the ads. And sometimes you can be sitting there thinking, you know, am I writing something that's too much here, or too kind of whack that nobody will ever resonate with? And by all means, you know, if you feel that explosion of creativity and you believe in yourself 100% that it'll work, 100% go for it. I'm not saying to not go for it. But what I am saying is that if you're feeling lost, if you're questioning yourself and you're thinking about, you know, What's kind of something that I should do here and that I should stick to just as sort of some sort of frame of reference, then those are the things that I really suggest that you look to other brands for inspiration for. And hell, if you want to do that with my own clothing brand, you can 100% do that. So don't let your ego hold you back from looking to other clothing brands and learning from their successes. Okay, because they can teach you a lot about what you need to instill in your own clothing brand to get results and to get the ball rolling for your own brand. Drop your brand in the comments. Check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass video. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass. You can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I wanna let you know about the closed Facebook group that we have going on for apparel success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.